Gemini, hi. Good to see you. I missed you. It's been a really long time. I hope that you're doing well. I'm sorry. I had to take a brief hiatus. Mercury retrograde kind of knocked me down, but I'm back up again and I'm stable and I'm steady going. So without further ado, I can't wait to get started on this reading for you. Um, this is going to be a general reading. So whatever comes up, comes up. It could be about love, career, finances. Um, it could be about all three. So let's see what comes up for you. Okay. All right, Gemini, this is clearly going to be a lot about your love life. And that's totally fine. I'm down to do that because I do see a little bit of finances here coming up for you, but not too much. We really just have one card for your finances. Let's get into your love life. You're sad. Okay. You've been thinking a lot about somebody from your past and you've been thinking a lot about reconciliation with them. You want some type of balance. And I think that that's great. If you notice on my table, in my altar, we have a little bit of a, like seashell action going on. We have a pearl in the center. So um, yeah, that makes a lot of sense because pearls are your birthstone. For some of you, I'm getting that that could be maybe your favorite jewelry you like to wear. Um, but that is very important because for a lot of you, I'm getting huge connections to the ocean. Maybe you've gone to the beach with this person. Maybe you've been to the beach and have made a wish at the beach. That's not going to be for everybody. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? But I'm more so getting like this image of a puddle of tears. And you've been crying a lot about this person. And if you haven't been crying out, you know, externally, you've definitely been crying internally. You want your ace of pentacles. And in other words, you want this person to settle down with you, give you a long-term steady connection, but you feel like they're not doing that. That's what brings you a lot of insecurities when it comes to thinking about your love life. You might have been talking to a lot of your friends about this, trying to reach out to a lot of people that you care and admire because you know that they give you great resilience when you talk to them or you speak to them. That's why a lot of you are here in this reading now, because you need a little bit of strength to understand why your person is doing the things that they're doing or why the connection is going the way that it is. You feel like you're going against the current a little bit because you're trying to fight for this connection. You're trying to fight for this person. And you wish that you can just go a lot more with the flow. You want a lot of things to go easy. You just want to be an easygoing person. And you want to have an easygoing relationship. But there's a lot of rocky turmoil. You're having a hard time navigating through that. Um, and that's with your love life in general. Let's say that you're not dealing with somebody specific. Because this is a general reading. So for a lot of you, that could be the case. Regardless, for everybody here, for all my Geminis, on an energetic level, your love life is not going in the way that you hoped. You feel a little bit burdened because no matter how hard you try to work at your love life, work in your connections, it just doesn't ever go the way that you want. Spiders are a huge symbolism for your reading right now. For a lot of you, you could have been like, you could be seeing a lot of spiders. For some of you, I'm hearing that you could have like a spider in your home. And I don't want to freak you out because I know <laughs> it 
Maybe a lot of you have like a fear of spiders, like a phobia. But that's not... I, I want you to take away from the fact that it's like a bug in your house. And I want you to start looking a lot more into the symbolism. You know, spiders, it's a feminine energy. For a lot of you, I'm talking to my divine feminines. Um, you need to start weaving your... Is that even a word? I don't know. Weaving your love life in the direction that you want it to go. Understand that you have the potential to make your love life the exact way that you want it as long as you flow with the current, okay? Instead of trying to fight and push against the current and wonder why things aren't working out, you need to just trust in the universe and let things flow naturally. Start to create your web, um, your solitude, your tranquility, and I promise you that this toxicity you've been dealing with will go away. Whether that toxicity is within you or within your person, within your love life, whether you've been dealing with a lot of bad luck or bad connections, as soon as you let go and let things flow, you're going to realize that your love life is a lot more easy to navigate. You're a Gemini. You're chill. Uh, my best advice for you is to do what you do best. Just chill out. Be easygoing. Let life and love come naturally. I promise you, you're going to see things flow a lot more steadily. Let's go ahead and get some more oracle advice for you before I close out your reading. Also, Gemini, if you're enjoying this reading so far, be sure to show some love. Like, subscribe, comment. All of those things help my channel grow. But most importantly, it means a lot to me because it lets me know that I helped you and this reason... Uh, that this reading resonated with you, okay? Uh-oh. We have released your ex. It's in reverse, though. So some of you have yet to do that, okay? That's what that means. We have true love in reverse. Wow. Uh, very soon. Okay. Let's talk about what this means. So, I'm getting different energies for those of you out there. I just want to remind you, this is a general reading. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Okay. Um, release your ex. You know, you know what this means. I think it's time to let go of that past person that brings you a lot of sadness i'm getting um that song by ariana grande the day you left an angel cried i don't know the actual song but if you want to check it out just google that lyric it should come up okay and the reason i say that is because there's an angel in this image and she's crying she looks sad and remember what i said about you crying in that puddle of tears yeah, honey, it's just time to let go of things that no longer serve you, okay? It's time to stop being sad about the things that you can't control in life. And just learn to let things go, okay? I'm getting that there's a lot of pain here with this person. They brought you a lot of sadness, and you know that. For a lot of you, you're reconsidering to um, get back with this person. The spirit is saying, don't do that. Let go. We also have true love in reverse and that's why i'm just getting this energy of you just are thinking a lot about your love life why isn't it going the way that i want why haven't i found the person that's going to love me for the rest of my life because baby the greatest love is sleeping inside of you all right and what that means is your self-love that is going to be the truest of true love in order for you to attract what you want you need to be um, coming up with that energy on your own. So learn to love yourself truly, deeply, everything, everything about you, all your insecurities, all your little quirks that you do or the things that you know aren't favorable by society. Learn to love all those and I promise you this card is going to flip, right? I can't wait to see that. We also have very soon. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now manifest spirit wants you to manifest 
What do you want out of love? What is important to you when you think about your love life? Make sure that you're attracting the things that you want, the person that you want, right? Let's talk about your career and finances really quickly before I end this out. It's not very stable. You feel like at work, at the workplace, there could be a lot of toxicity, a lot of gossip. No matter how hard you work, you're just not seeing your finances improve. What I recommend for you, okay, find a better job. Find a better position. Find somewhere where you're going to shine and glow because you have that ability within you. You just need to be brave enough to go out there and get it, okay? Manifest that as well. All right, Gemini, I want to say thank you so much for being patient and waiting for me to return. I am back. I'm better than ever. I hope that this helped bring you, uh, brought you, <laughs> I hope that this brought you a lot of clarity, okay? I hope that this brought you a lot of peace and tranquility. I want to thank your spirit guides for being here and allowing me to give you the message that you needed today. I hope that your life continues to stay as sweet as you are.